Okay, we're at the park now. <coughs> we're at the park. There's a little stand of trees here. It's a mixture of oak and lime trees. Oh, and a horse chestnut as well. I don't know if there was a lightning strike or something here the other night, but a couple of branches have come down and off the oak trees. They're quite substantial branches and they're still green wood. So I'm actually, I've brought a saw with me and we're going to cut a few pieces of timber and see if we can make something out of it. Okay, I reckon that'll do. I've got four nice pieces in there. Okay, so here's a weird little tip. So I've got a video rendering here for upload to YouTube, and that's quite a CPU intensive process. So this laptop's generating a fair old bit of heat, which it's blowing out through the vent at the side here. So I thought these mushrooms, which are nearly dry, I've got, this is some horse mushrooms that I'm drying. They are almost completely dry, but I just thought I'd give them a little boost by putting them right next to the air vent there from the laptop. So they're getting a stream of warm, dry air blown underneath the mesh there, which will just help them to dry. So how about that? Waste not, want not. Look at this big burr on this oak tree. Now that's been caused by, I don't know, insect damage maybe, or just physical damage when the tree was a lot younger and it's grown a big scar there. And inside of that burr, this is something that woodworkers are actually rather fond of, not necessarily oak, but these burrs that grow on trees often have very contorted and interesting grain figure inside them. So there we go, that's a burr on an oak tree. So here's a nice little fungus that we're not going to stop and eat today because I don't believe it's edible. In fact, I think there are sources that say this is edible and others that say it's poisonous. So I think we'll just leave it alone. These are called jelly babies. And it's a really rubbery, funny little mushroom. Really odd little shape. I'm not even going to pick one. But it's just, you can see how rubbery and spongy they are. And they're really wet and just like jelly. So those are jelly babies. So up in amongst the bracken there, we've got a common earth ball. And here's a really mature specimen right down here. So let's just have a look and see why these things are called puff balls. So it's got a little opening there. And you can see when it's disturbed, so when a raindrop falls on it, it ejects a little puff of spores out. And so those will distribute amongst the forest and will grow into more puffballs. There is something a little bit magical about the, the way things look at this time of year. As the bracken and all the leaves start to brown and lose their color, it just makes the mosses of the forest, it just makes that look even greener and more verdant. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.